What's going on folks? It's K Spade the Prospect. Back today with some Madden 25 Ultimate Team on the Xbox One. Look at my record folks. This season has been a great one. We lost the first one to the homie Nate. We buckled down, we tightened the chin strap and we've been busting fools in the mouth ever since. And I want to keep the streak alive. Clearly I already clinched the playoff berth. I want to see if we can get the first round by. You know I want to go into the playoffs with that momentum. Of course I'm the Dolphins. I would happen to be going against the Patriots, which is funny because we hate the Patriots. We hate the Patriots. Now this guy had a pretty nice running attack. He had Walter Payton and he had Eric Dickerson. So that's the perfect blend of power running and speed. So, you know, we're going to keep an eye on that. My secondary, on the other hand, wasn't really playing that passing stuff this game. At least not early on. They just not having it. Third and ten. Watch this. I'm watching the tight end. I'm really expecting the pass to go there, but LT... As LaPera says, one of the greatest edge rushes in NFL history gets back there and just blew that whole plan. He decided to go for it on fourth down. Of course, the pressure, I'm going to send the pressure if you're going. He gets nothing. Now, second and ten right here, Cam Newton throws a strike into the end zone. That's Shannon Sharp on the receiving end of that beauty. And my offense ain't even had to break a sweat. 7-0 pain makers. And keep in mind, I get it back in the third quarter. So, we sitting pretty. We sitting fat down south right here. Walter Payton with a nice run though, moving the chain. A little bit later, second down, time in the pocket. And but man, that pressure was coming. That pressure was getting there, yo. He did deliver a beautiful pass to Deshaun Jackson. Now watch me with Brian Arakpo. I attempt the blitz, I don't get anything. I drop back in coverage, but he still threw a beautiful strike across the middle of the field. And I was like, who? I know this man ain't not here with no sub bar receivers. I'm not even going to worry about that because I know my secondary got that on lock. I know they do. Second and 11. Check out this play right here. Eric Dickinson around the outside and he is punishing fools, yo. ED. ED. ED's a beast. I used to want that ED card. He's just a little too slow for me. And I don't really know what happened right here. I guess it was a well-timed spin move combined with a well-timed block. And wow, we got a tied up game right here. What's really happening? Cam Newton dropping back. The pressure getting to Cam. You saw him kind of lose his footing right there. He's going to take a sack from Cameron Wake. Come on, Cam. You're supposed to be on our team. 10 yard loss. I'm throwing out of the end zone. Connecting a nice pass to Shannon Sharp, who puts me in a manageable fourth down. And I'm feeling bold for some very odd reason. I decided to go for it. Why not? I'm the pain maker. Do what I want to do. Bringing the team back to the line, checking my receivers. I got a quick strike right over here to Deshaun Jackson, who had to fight momentum to stay in bounds. Move the chains. I'm digging it. I really am. First and 10. Oh my God. Shannon Sharp missed the block. If he'd have chipped that guy, Chris Johnson would have took it to the house. Look at this. A little bit later, here's a pass across the middle of Doug Baldwin, who went down with what looked like a routine tackle, but. What do I know? Clearly it wasn't too routine because Doug didn't get up. Doug Baldwin is gone. Cam on the keeper right here. I could have got more yards bouncing outside, but I had my sight set on the first down marker. I wanted to get it. I made sure I did, but on second and forever, I take a strike downfield. It gets batted down. That's the best thing I could have got. And on third down, I thought the screen was the perfect play call. His defense was on it, and they even forced the fumble. Luckily, we, we recovered that, though. 10 seconds before the half, I decide to take uh, opportunity downfield, just take a shot. I don't get it though. And I put him back on the field because, you know, nothing can happen. Or can it? Now, this was a very smart play. Nobody was open. He quickly made the decision to roll out the pocket, throw it away, put his field goal unit on the field, and boots one through the upright. 10 7 this guy. Who to thunk it after the way this game started? Now it's the third quarter. Like I said, I get the ball back, and I'm trying to get back to running the football. I want to eat clock if I can help it. But his run defense was pretty good. I got to give it to him. It was pretty good. Curtis Martin moving the chains for me right there. Only four carries for 17 yards, so you can tell that I went away from my traditional me. And that's, that's kudos to him. He made me go away from what I wanted to do. Third and one. Man, somebody just got nailed to the turf. But I'm feeling bold again. Fourth down, I'm going for it. This ain't even me, y'all. I don't even know what I'm doing here. Survey the field. Make a few changes to these routes. Look at this. Cam drops back. Zips one across to Andre Johnson, who picks up the first down. Way to go, Andre. Slow clap. And for some odd reason, I'm going no huddle again. I was feeling myself this day, clearly. 
first and 10 we're gonna go with the read option we're gonna give it to curtis martin and look at curtis go get off curtis look at the stiff arm look at curtis curtis just went beast mode dragging patriots down to the 20. and you know what i'm gonna go back to the same thing that got us in the end zone in the first quarter the homie shannon sharp nice route nice pass 14 10 pain makers but you know what we can't really brag because this guy can score one time and put all the pressure back on me my defense still has to respond right here you got to second and 13 he's trying to run the ball again and my whole defense is getting over there finally sean taylor puts the hat on him sean will hit won't he that sean don't know nothing about no wrap-up tackle he putting the hat on you when he get there but look at this this guy's doing a pretty good job it's the fourth quarter at this point he's been moving the ball but beautiful int by dion prime time sanders do the step right here uh, uh, uh. Man, Dion, that was a beautiful pick. One-handed INT. That was pretty much the nail in the coffin. But, you know, we still got to run through the tape. And look at this, man. LT, one of the greatest edge rushers. Again, look at LT. There's no black in LT in this playbook. This is not. Second and 17, he's going no huddle. I'm not really sure why. I guess he wanted to get one more playoff before the two-minute warning. He's feeling pressure that's not there, and next thing you know, it's really pressure there. That's what happens with my team. I send that heat, and then you get a little afraid. Then you get you get hot feet, uh, uh, hot something, something. You can't be still, whatever they call it. Ants in your pants, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Fourth and forever, man. He's dropping back to pass. No pressure was on him, but he almost threw an INT. I had that guy in the perfect spot. That puts my offense back on the field. I'm going to probably just run the ball or something, you know, something real light. Maybe take, y'all know he quit. That's all I got for this one, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out there next time. Peace.